organization, I guess you could say. And this is the fourth book. No, just kidding. What? I just said it was a trilogy. What am I doing with my life? Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my bout of books round 17 TBR. It's a readathon that takes place from August 22nd to the 28th. It's super low key. There's a bunch of challenges that you can participate in. I'm personally not going to participate in any of them because I'm going to be working full time. So basically, I'm just doing the reading thing. Probably won't get all the books done, but you know, your girl can dream. I'll leave the link down below for you guys to sign up if you're interested in the giveaways and things along those lines during the readathon. So check that out down below if you want. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> Three of the books that I'm going to be reading for this readathon is part of a booktube tour, which is run by Grace over at Lovingdom Books. Booktube tours is kind of like a club where booktubers are given free books in exchange for our honest opinions of them. And we either make a review video or basically any video we want based around the books. It's a lot of fun. I'll leave the links down below if you want to sign up to be a host. I would highly recommend it. I think it's so much fun. So the first three books you guys can check out if you're interested. So the first book that I'm hoping to read for this readathon is The Curse of the Sphinx by Ray Wagner. This book follows 17 year old Hope Nichols who has been hiding basically her entire life. The only thing is nobody is actually chasing her. Nobody actually knows she exists. She and her mom have moved from city to city around the United States since she was born. She doesn't stay in these states for longer than a couple of weeks because it's safer and then one day her mother is brutally ripped from her life and she needs to learn how to live by herself. She doesn't know if this is the fulfillment of Apollo's curse or if she's being hunted. She doesn't know who she's able to trust, and that's when she meets a boy. It sounds super good. I'm very excited to get into it. And then I'm also going to read Demigods and Monsters, which is the second book in this duology. And I'm very excited because I love mythology. It's one of my favorite courses that I took last year. I absolutely adored it. So I'm very excited to see how that ties in to these books because mythology is super fun to learn about, just science. The third book that I'm hoping to read for this readathon is Flawed by Cecilia Ahern. And can we just take in this cover and how cool it is? Like, it's so pretty. Like, it's, it's like see-through. I just, I love it. This book follows Celestian North and her life is basically perfect. She's well liked by all her teachers and all her friends and her family and she's also dating a very attractive boy named Art. But then Celestine ends up making a split decision that may cost her her perfect life. She may end up being branded for this decision, which will make her flawed, which means that she's going to be punished. I don't know what the punishment is going to be, so I'm very excited to see what it is. I've heard amazing things about this book, so I'm super excited to get into it. It also came with a tattoo, so I mean, that's pretty cool. I can be flawed, except, I mean, I feel like I shouldn't want to be flawed, so maybe I'll give this to someone I don't like and be like, it means you're friends with me, yeah, but really means you're flawed and you're not perfect, so ha. Then the fourth book that I'm hoping to get to, which I'm super excited about because I need to finish this trilogy so very badly, is Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. This is the third book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. And I need to finish it because I recently finished Clockwork Prince and I am in love with Will and I am in love with Jen and I need to know what happens with Tessa, Will, and Jen and therefore I need to finish this book and it's going to happen and I am so excited because then I can finish the Mortal Instruments series as well. So like I said, I'm working full time next week so I'm probably not going to get all these books done. My goal is to get the first three books done because I'm going to have reviews up for them once I finish them. August 28th is going to be the flawed review and August 31st is going to be my Curse of the Sphinx and the Gods and Monsters review. So if you guys want to check those out when they come out, totally do that. Hopefully I like them. Alright guys, so that was the four books that I'm hoping to read for the Battle Books Round 17 readathon. I will leave all the links for the booktube tours down below if you guys want to check that out. Definitely do it. Definitely become a host. Super fun. Super awesome. Highly recommend it. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.